just as soon as I wake up, I just do some hot water and then I'll, I'll stretch and I'll roll out and then we'll get the day started. I think I've found my passion. I think the thing I've been looking for all these years did exist and it was right there in front of me the whole time. Which makes me think maybe we all have a passion, you know? Maybe we all have something that really gets us excited about working hard and pushing the limits of what we're capable of. You just sort of got to take a journey inside and maybe ask yourself, um, you know, cast a net over all your main interests and enjoyments. Cast a net over all of those and then sift through them and sort of filter out your baseline hobbies, interests, enjoyments and then try and... If I'd have done that like six or seven years ago It's not about that, I've found it now, but either way, I do think we all have a passion that we can use to better the world around us. Yeah, so the triflex is working quite well. Um, I don't think it's a placebo. I do feel things loosen it up. Like when I push it in there and then move the, the joint around, it does seem to loosen up a little bit. All right. Hey, if anyone's got Twitch or is into gaming or anything like that, I've got Laken who is on Twitch. His Twitch will be in the description, keep saying Twitch. And Chris who has also just started streaming on Twitch as well. His link will be in the description if you're into gaming. I don't know what Chris plays but Laken loves Destiny 2 and I think he's got some new, new content coming out and he's also starting a YouTube channel so if you're interested in that sort of thing, I'm going to link you to him. Let's go make some coffee. Um, we're about to head off to the gym in about 50 minutes, something like that, so I'm just going to have a pre-workout coffee. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make an AeroPress. For those of you that don't know, an AeroPress is a uh, coffee creation machine. It's almost like a cafetiere, it uses filters. Um, it looks like this. This little gizmo comes in two components like so. And basically this is used to push down against the filter that will be here and ooze out some fresh coffee. Now, the first thing you want to do is get your filter in place. Bang. And then you just get a filter. It comes with all these filters. So I don't think you're going to run out anytime soon. And then we just put our filter paper and just rest it in the centre of the cylinder compartment. And then we attach it, just easily, bang, to the bottom of this. And then you want to rest this bit on the bottom of your cup. You don't have to use a bamboo cup, but if you want extra points you can do. Ah, first of all, the coffee I'm using is a Brazilian blend. I get it from a, I get it from a local coffee roasters. What you're going to do is get as much coffee as you want into the prepared cylinder that's a good word and you want to bring it to right about the number four where the highest point is and you see how it's not how it's not bubbling or anything like that that's good it means it's at the right temperature if you pour it in and it starts bubbling straight away it means you've not let it cool long enough and that's just burning the 
you'll know if you do it right because you'll get that initial smell. It's it's good, man. It's good. Give it a little stir. I personally think it's quite important to stir it. I think it makes the uh, it makes the it makes it blend quite nicely, and you get quite an even based coffee. But then again, I don't really know what I'm talking about in in a in a connoisseur sort of way. I just enjoy drinking coffee in the morning. And you can also top it up with a bit of water if you please. Okay, this is the cool part. With this, you don't want to just, with all your might, push down and just finish it through. You want to like, sort of have a, get a feel for how fast the coffee's going through the paper. So it'll bounce back a little bit and then it'll go back down. It's just a process. Yes is the answer if you are thinking of using uh, thinking this would be good for camping, it really is. We used it in the uh, we used it in the Outer Hebrides in Scotland for five five days every morning. Once you've finished pressing it down, you've let it drip through. Take the end, twist it out like you did before, and you'll have like perfectly at the top just this like encrusted layer of coffee. And to get it out, all you literally do is just push through. Starting off this workout with the same way I start every workout, just on the Stairmaster. I find it a really incredible tool. Just to get any food digested, just to get the blood flow and the heart rate up, get the glutes engaged, get the calves engaged, everything moving and flowing. It's going to be a great workout. Hope you're having a great day. I hope you found your passion and you're just putting all your hard work into it, because that's what's going to create happiness, vitality. Just a fresh perspective, mate, which is what you want. Slow is what we know. 